if you want to change the display theme accessibility notifications and debugging settings then you can click on the preferences once you click on it you will see the model box of preferences and there will be buttons for specific settings but the theme button will not be available by default you have to make it enabled to make it enabled we had made the video on this before so the video is how to change theme in service now instances which are on san diego version if you want to know how to make the theme button enabled then do watch this video the link for the video is given in the description and also you can click on i icon now we are going to discuss these settings so let's open the display settings inside the display setting you can see there are various actions available so let's focus on those icons with the icons it is pretty much clear that what these particular actions will do okay so if you look at the first one you can see that it's telling that the form will be more organized the form sections and the related list will be converted into tabs okay in the second one you can see if you want to put the line breaks in the list or not your list is going to look like this in the third one you can see that they are telling the space of the text box will decrease in the fourth one you can see that this eye icon will display for every field in which there is a help available if you enable this property then the navigation means the banner frame will be available at the top and you can navigate with the help of banner frame plus you can also change the date and time format from here time zone from here you can also choose when the related list must appear on the form means whether the related list appear with the form or after the form loads or on demand okay let's take an example of these form section line breaks use compact spacing so help and navigation so if we disable this and we close this now let's see how the forms will look so we are going to click all write incident dot list and we are going to open one of the form so you can see that if we scroll down the form section like notes related records resolution information are expanded they are not in a particular tab format okay related links also expanded tax sla affected ci impacted services and cis child incidents all are expanded now we are going to enable that property and see what will happen go to the preferences display and enable this now as soon as we enable it you can see that it's asynchronous and automatically when we enable it our form without lagging it changes now you can see that all the form sections and related lists are in tab format we can scroll down and see notes related records resolution information they all are in tab format and also the related list tax sla affected cis impacted services and cis and child incidents all are in tab format so with the help of this we can organize our form next is that was the list so we have disabled that and you can see that our list is a compact list so there are less spaces in the list means there are no break lines and once we enable it watch very closely because it's in sync so when we enable it you can see that there will be a gaps see so with the help of this particular action you can change the display of the list next use compact spacing mode so what it does is that this is the box and it's going to reduce the spacing once we enable it for example you can see here also at the top where the choice is selected with the form you will see the space will reduce and in this time zone also in date time format also so it's going to happen all over wherever these boxes will appear so once we enable it watch it very closely what will happen did you see that the space between the box and the content reduces with the help of this action 
you can use compact spacing mode for now we are going to just disable it next so help test on forms so if a field has a help then that particular i icon will always appear if we enable it for example if we open the incident form you can see right now there is no i icon available but if you want to display the i icon so that the user can get the information of that particular field on the form then you can go to the preferences go to the display settings and just enable this and close this and you can see that in the fields which have the help text the help icons had appeared for those so you can see the caller has help icon the category has help icon like this the configuration item has help icon sort description has help icon okay but this will only display when the field contains the help text else it will not display next if you want that the banner frame must be available at the top then you can enable this action right now what happens is that this particular action is not enabled so if we open the incident form or incident list then see that the banner frame will not be available at the top so incident form and all incidents you can see that the banner frame is not available just like it's available here so whenever you open the incident form or incident list or any applications form or list in a new window you will not see the banner frame at the top but you can make it enable we can, firstly we have to close this and go to the preferences display and enable this action to show the navigation at the top close this and now we are going to open that incident form and list again let it open so you can see the incident form has been opened in a new window and our navigation or the banner frame is available at the top and you can navigate with the help of this and similarly for the incident list which are open in a new window you can see that the navigation or the banner frame is available at the top and you can navigate from here okay so that is the use of that particular action all right so we have completed all the actions of display settings next is our theme so we go inside the theme settings and you can change the theme of the particular instance right now we have selected default we can click on dark it will change to dark okay that's how you can change the themes of the particular instance let's go back for the accessibilities similarly you can see there are icons available and they are self-explanatory what will happen once you enable these particular actions so let's go it one by one so if you want to see that there are some date fields on the form and you want to see what is the format of the particular date then you can enable this property and that particular date format will be available on the field second if you enable this property then the patterns in charts and graphs are replaced with the colors okay third there are some shortcut keys on service now so if you want to make use of those shortcuts then you can enable these properties with the help of keyboard you can use them so if you click on this i icon and click on more then you will see various shortcuts available in service now which you can use it next is that enable the data table for charts and graphs if you want them if you want to get more clarified about the data then you can enable that data table for that particular charts and graphs reduce the motion if you want to reduce the motion in service now and enable the accessibility in classic means if you want to use tab when you hit the tab key so the tab key will go to each element so you can enable that if you click on i icon what is the description extend the keyboard navigation and allow more tab stops in classic ui so you can tap to icons and buttons in list form fields cards it also present additional info on forms okay 
So this was accessibility settings. In the notification tracking, this is similar that we have discussed in the notification icon. It is similar. You can change the notifications according to your needs. Back. Next is debugging settings. In the debugging settings, you can open the script debugger and you can also automate it the test framework page inspector which is used for the custom ui page okay you can enable that particular action from here so we have completed all the settings in the preferences this was the end of the video like the video share the video and subscribe the channel thank you for watching bye bye